so yeah we do live in evergreen harbor now i decided to move them out to evergreen harbor um i know we kind of played around with the idea of also moving them out to san sequoia but i actually decided to take that and apply that to whimsy so whimsy we are going to be moving out to san sequoia um whereas this series we are moving into evergreen harbor um just because I, I had a bigger uh, idea of what to do with Haley in Evergreen Harbor. I just figured that this would fit her story a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so you guys can see we have a full house down here. We have seven uh, slots and I do want to actually fill up that eighth slot because um, I want to get them a new dog today. That's something that I wanted to do um, because we did lose, uh, you know, the dog that they had uh, died of old age a little bit ago. So I wanted to get them like a new pet um, now that we've kind of moved into a new house. But yeah, so we've got a full house. Uh, and then once we get the, the new dog, it will be like literally a full house with eight slots. So I am super, super excited about that. We're also, of course, we had the two newborns. They are going to be aging up into infants today. Uh, so we are going to be having some infants. Um, but yeah, so before we actually jump into this though, I do want to show you guys the new house, uh, but I'm going to do it through, I would say I wanted to do it through build mode out here, but actually, because it's winter in my game right now, so everything looks very like dead and uh, stuff like that. Like it's not very bright, um, but I'm going to go ahead and hop into build mode. I want to show you guys because I actually had a lot of fun with this house. It's you'll see when we actually get in um i wanted to kind of leave it not fully furnished uh so it's it's not fully furnished it's not done but that's kind of the point i did it on purpose um i had a a bit of a storytelling reason for why i left it that way um i mean of course the first thing is like they've just moved in i didn't want to move them into a like move-in ready house but there's some other stuff i kind of want to show you guys when we get into it um let me go ahead and check the chat while this is loading. Um, does the rule say that it has to be a dog? Uh, no, there there doesn't have to be here. Okay. Um, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna leave that for right now. I didn't want to like fully show you guys everything yet. Um, what are the twins' names? We went with Aaron and Christian for the twins' names. So those are the last kids of this house. Like we've got now, I think five kids in this house. Uh, so there's a lot. So we ended up having twin boys. Uh, we named them Aaron and Christian. They will be our, our infants today. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. I don't think so. The, that's the rule for this one. That is for whimsy. Yeah, the, the always having a pet in the house. That is a rule for whimsy. That's not for this one. It's just something that I want to do for this series because, um, well, first of all, Brian is a dog lover. So I wanted to let them have another dog. Uh, but also, um, I don't know, the, it just fits this family, I think, to always have like a pet, especially since like we've had a dog since the very beginning and then the dog died right as like, you know, the, all the kids were getting older and then she was pregnant with the new baby, like, so I figure, you know, it would just be nice to get them like a new pet. Um, but, so, this is the new house. Uh, it is a pretty big house. It's a five bedroom uh, home, so it's really, really big. Um, I did move it into this, like, kind of grungy um, neighborhood, although it actually, wait, it looks fixed now. It wasn't fixed before. Wait, hang on. It looks better now. Why is that? I didn't, hmm. I don't know why it looks better now. That's so weird. I'm hoping when I actually get into the game, it'll actually look the way it was supposed to look. Because part of Haley's story, what I want to do is I want to have her like clean up the neighborhood. It didn't look like this like a second ago. Oh, that's so weird. Anyway, I'm just going to show you guys the house. Um, so yeah, this is the house. Um, I specifically left it unfinished and very like overgrown. Uh, so I do have the tree house back here because that was something I wanted to get uh, for Brian and the boys to like build together. Um, so we do have the big tree house, uh, a lot of, there's like a lot of overgrown grass out here. Um, the yard is like, you know, like the, the, the grass is like kind of dead and just not, you know, it's like really patchy and it's, it's not like super, um, like taken care of. Uh, we do have, of course, this little swing set and, you know, some stuff for like the, the kids. Um, we do have Brian's 
work table out here as well. Um, but yeah, so going into the house, it is super, like I said, super unfinished. It's not fully done. Um, I put a lot of like boxes around, like they've just moved in. Uh, we got a couple of things of like new furniture, but a lot of it, um, I brought some of the furniture over from the old house. Um, not, not all of it, but just a few things, but we did get some new stuff. Um, also, I'm going to turn that music down really quick. Uh, Oh, can you turn the sound down? Yeah, I just noticed it. Um, I'm so sorry I didn't realize that the music was that loud. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, <laughs> sorry, I, I'll, I turned it down for you guys. Um, but yeah, so it's like super, anyway, super empty. Um, there's like boxes around and stuff like that. We do have the kitchen in here, which is a tiny bit more done. Uh, it's still not fully like finished or anything, but this is uh, the new like kitchen. We've got a laundry room and a bathroom right here. Uh, and then we do have the uh, nursery right now. We've got the two babies, but I wanted to get a quick little head start with getting like the cribs and the changing table and stuff. Cause like I said, they are gonna be aging up very quickly. Um, but it is still like unfinished. Like there's still boxes in here as well. There's boxes like all over the house um, and stuff like that. So that is the downstairs currently. We are gonna be like sort of furnishing it and finishing it out like over time. Um, but that was sort of like what I wanted to do with like just having moved in. Uh, moving upstairs, uh, we do have all of the bedrooms up here. So we do have Haley and Brian's room right here. Um, once again, it's kind of messy, bare, unfinished. Uh, but this is their room up here and they've got access to this huge balcony up here. Uh, right now, the only thing up here is Brian's um, easel that he brought with him from the old house. But I'm probably going to like add some stuff up here as well. Um, we do have the upstairs bathroom right here and then we've got the kiddos bedrooms who like Jared and Sammy uh, I wanted to each give them like each their own room. Um, they got huge rooms. Their rooms are bigger than the master um, Which I find a little funny. Brooke has a very tiny room right in the middle here um, But I mean that's okay. Like she's just a kid right now. So like it's fine um, But yeah, everything is still really messy. I tried to like kind of show their personalities through like their rooms like you see like jared here he's got like the boxes he's unpacking um you know we've got like his homework on the table we've got like some stuff like his folded clothes and you know like he's actually like starting to unpack in the bookshelf like all that kind of stuff uh and then over here <laughs> we do have sammy's room over here and he hasn't unpacked literally anything except for the gaming rig and like the posters which I just liked the idea of like showing kind of personality through that. Like he finally has his own room. Like the boys have always shared a room their entire lives and now they finally have their own space. Um, and I just really liked the idea of kind of showing the personalities through that. Uh, I do. Oh no. Okay. I thought that was clipping, but it's not. Um, so yeah, we've got like the clothes on the floor, the clothes in the hamper, but like the only thing that's unpacked in Sammy's room is the gaming rig, <laughs> which, you know, I find really like amusing. Um, and then, like I said, we do have, uh, Brooke's room in here, which it's very, very tiny. Uh, but she's got this cute little activity table with like some drawings that she did at school, uh, bookshelf and like all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, that is, I believe the full house. Um, like I said, over time, we're going to start kind of furnishing it out more. Uh, I'm going to probably get rid of this like grungy wallpaper. Like you can see that like the the wallpaper in here it's like the dirty kind of grungy wallpaper um you know the yard is like a mess overgrown the the house just it's, it's like a fixer upper like that's kind of the point of it um oh i forgot there's also this little back patio right here by the way too there's a little patio like seating area stuff like that too um but yeah so like the whole point of this is like this house is like a fixer upper they're kind of having to like they got it pretty cheap um, they literally only have $5,000 left, which we did have more money when I like brought all the furniture over and I started selling stuff, but I wanted them to start with like almost nothing. Um, I have no idea how much the bills are going to cost here. So I genuinely don't know, but like, I really liked the idea of them kind of starting from scratch because, uh, while I load it back into the main, uh, screen here, because like, the first house that they had, that like white picket fence home, uh, it was like this, you know, perfect little starter home for their family. Uh, 
Haley's parents actually kind of bought that for them. Like, they didn't fully buy it, but, like, they more or less kind of, like, put down the whole deposit for them. Like, Haley's parents kind of just almost gave that to them. They didn't really have to, like, do a lot on it, uh, with it on their own. Um, so, like, of course, there were additions. Like, Brian, you know helped build out like the new nursery for the kids and like he you know made some like adjustments and and things to the house but like for the most part it was kind of just like move in ready for them like you know as like a wedding present like it was kind of just gifted to them almost um so i really liked the idea of now that you know we're in this place you know where things are awkward and the relationship is kind of rocky right now because of all of the stress of finding out about the affair, the new babies, um, like the family is just kind of disjointed right now. I really, really, really liked the idea of the house kind of representing that. And like they now have to start over from scratch with this big family home, but like it doesn't really, it's not like fully done. It's not furnished. It's not pretty. It's not perfect. Um, and I really, really, really liked that symbolism of moving into, like, the new house like that. Um, hang on, let me make sure that the audio is not uh, too loud there. Turn turn that down, because I know that gets pretty loud. Um, but yeah, so I had a lot of, like, ideas with the, um, the, the house. Okay, now that I'm, like, loading in really quick. No, why is it fixed? Oh, hang on. Does anybody know how to do how to fix this? Because the neighborhood is like pretty now. It wasn't like that when I moved them in. When I moved them in, there was like garbage everywhere and everything was like the default. Oh no, that was the whole point of moving them here is like for her to do that. Does anybody know how to fix that? Or if I can like reset it back to default because it I swear it was not like that when I moved them in. I'm so upset. Um, but, uh, I do love the idea of them slowly moving in. It's cool that they really want to make the house their own. Um, yeah, I really, really, really liked that idea as well. Um, you can look up a cheat for it. Okay, crap. <laughs> Hang on. We're going to take a quick little detour really quick. Cause the whole point of this was so that way we could like fix up the neighborhood and the game just like did it. Um, Okay, hang on really, really, really quickly. Let me just, uh, eco lifestyle. Because I've never done this part of the, um, hang on. How do I, like, reset it back to, like, being terrible? <laughs> like, that was the point. Um, let me see. Ugh, oh, crap. Um, let's see. So, hello, I hope that you're, I hope everything is good. It's nice to see you. It's nice to see you too. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I am unfortunately having to take a quick little detour just to make sure that this is actually functioning the way it's supposed to. Um, okay, hang on. A cheat for the eco footprint. Uh, let's see. Three states that you can put here. Zero, one, or uh, if you want to play in a dirty world, set it to two for the industrial, but re uh, remember that this may not make the trash appear. Dang it. <laughs> I didn't want to have to do this on stream. It was it was already like this. Or it was, uh, it was the way I needed it when I moved them in. And then as soon as I started the stream, it was like, surprise, we fixed it for you. Like, that's not what I wanted. Um, okay, hang on. Let me turn on testing cheats. Let me get this to... Let, let me make this, like, terrible again. Um, oh, thank you. You actually wrote the cheat out for me. Thank you so much. Uh, eco footprint. Okay. Great. Is it? I don't I'm like it. It's not cap sensitive, right? I don't think so. <laughs> Give me a second here, guys. Sorry. Eco footprint dot set. Oh, man. Eco. Whoops. Footprint. State two, okay. I'm hoping. Okay. <laughs> I hope that that actually worked. It's not, I don't know if that's just gonna like fix 
all of this because now it says that the eco footprint is now industrial um but i don't know if that's actually gonna like do what it was supposed to because this whole neighborhood like it looked different than this i'm kind of upset about that um so i love all your videos ah thank you so so much i'm sorry we're having a bit of issue here but thank you so much i'm so glad that you're here uh i'm so glad you were able to catch the stream Ugh. okay i'm gonna have to check that stuff uh but anyway um we're gonna go ahead and get everybody to get in the house um let's see uh, another thing you guys also might notice actually about the house since i was i was talking about the whole like symbolism thing of how the house is a fixer upper and they're kind of uh, starting over from scratch. Um, another thing about that that I did kind of want to mention as well um, is you guys also might notice uh, here, let me have her come in here and feed the babies. Uh, you guys also might notice too that the house, this one has a lot more yellow uh, than the other house. And that's kind of, that was done intentionally um, because the... Sorry, I'm trying to like talk while I do this. So the colors for the first gen for this, for Haley, uh, are yellow and white. But I don't know if you guys probably noticed, the last house had almost no yellow in it. It was like, it was mostly blue and white. And then it had like tiny hints of like pastel yellow, but it wasn't really like all that prominent. It was mostly like blue and white. Um, now... Blue is the color that I kind of associate with Brian. He, that's like his color. Um, here, let me get, sorry, I'm trying to get everybody kind of settled while I talk. Uh, so blue is more of like Brian's color, whereas of course yellow is Haley's. Um, now when we were kind of in that last house, like I said, the, the last house was kind of just given to them. It was like, sort of like, not fully like given to them, like 100%. Uh, it's not like it wasn't their own home, but it was sort of just like representative of what oh. Haley thought she wanted. Like she thought she wanted this white picket fence life or in house and the perfect family. And she always wanted to be like that stay at home mom. And that was something that like, you know, was kind of reflected in that house. It, there wasn't really a lot of her real personality in it. There wasn't a lot of the bright yellows in it. Um, Whereas this house, I really, really, really wanted to show more uh, bright yellows and more of like her personality, but there's also like hints of blue mixed in. And so it's less, it's less like overpowering um, than it was in the old house. Best get out of here. Uh, it's less overpowering with that like perfectionism idea that was in that last house. And now we're sort of bringing in more of like her real personality. This is like a new start for her. This is like she's able to kind of put in the work for her own, like what she really, really, really wants, as opposed to just like the idea of what she thought she wanted. Um, I don't know if I'm really explaining that the way I wanted it, uh, the way I want to explain it, but I hope you guys at least kind of understand what I'm saying. Um, and so I think kind of over time, as we fix the house, as we furnish it more, as we make it prettier, as we make it like into their home, it's going to be more of an equal share of like blues and yellows and like, you know, those kind of brighter colors as opposed to being such a subdued, you know, like muted color that it was before. Uh, and that's, that's something I really liked. And I really wanted to show with the, you know, the new house and everything like that. Um, my favorite color is yellow. Ah, oh, that's so awesome. That's super awesome. Um, your storytelling is tops. Thank you so much. Uh, I I really try my best. I know on stream, I think I get a little jumbled just by nature of being live and, and being kind of put on the spot. I get a little bit more jumbled um, than normal, but I really am glad that some of my storytelling does still come through. Um, and I really appreciate that you guys enjoy it as well. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, I just remembered oh, the, the highlight messages. Yeah, I love your storytelling. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, and yeah, the, the highlighted messages do work. I do see them popping up. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, okay. Haley. Oh, Haley's getting a call. 
Oh, from her dad. Uh, hey, sweetie, we're coming over to see the little one and help out whenever we can. Or help out however we can. Aw, okay. So it looks like we didn't even get a choice in that. It, it looks like uh, mom and dad are actually just coming over. They decided they're just going to come over <laughs> and help with the house and the baby. Um, oh, and Isaiah is coming too, actually. It looks like the whole, her little brother and her, her parents have just decided to come over. Okay. This is a, a planned, well, not a planned stay over. They just decided. They're like, hey, we're coming over. Um, okay, cool. Well, that's great. I mean, you guys are always welcome, but um, how long are you staying? Oh my God, they're staying over all the way until Sunday? They're staying over like almost a whole week, like Tuesday through Sunday. Okay. I don't have this, any space for you guys. I don't have a bed. They just decided um, that they were going to come over. Okay. Well, that's great. Um, so we've got Haley's mom here, Daphne, and then this is her little brother. Uh, where's, where's dad? Where, where's Tim? Where is he? I don't, okay, I don't know where he is. Anyway, I guess, Haley, you can go ahead and come over here and, I guess, welcome in uh, <laughs> your your family, because they just decided they were going to come. Great. Cool. Um, let's see. Okay, well, Isaiah's here. Why don't we welcome him? Okay, Tim is calling. Congratulations on the new addition to the family. Thanks, Dad. I appreciate that. Mom is actually coming in here and cleaning up, which is really nice. I don't... Where is... Oh, is that Brooke out there? She's just swinging on the little swing set. Um, You can't really see it because it's nighttime, actually. But this particular swing set I thought was super, super cute because it looks like something that maybe Brian built uh, and then, like, let Brooke decorate it. Like, when it's daytime, I'll be able to show you guys a little bit better. Um, but it, it looks like, you know, it's something that like Brian made and then Brooke, you know, put all the flowers on it, put all the little stickers on it, the lights and the little pink flags. Like it looks like something that they kind of did together, which I think is super cute. Um, oh, there's, there's dad. Hey, hey Tim, what's up? Um, okay. We're going to have, if my game will not lag on me. Okay. Oh gosh, Tim, are you okay? <laughs> She's like, Dad, are you all right? Okay, so everybody's here now. The whole family has just stopped in. Oh, uh-oh, baby's crying. Which one are you? This is Christian. Okay. Okay, Brian, I'm going to have you come take care of the baby. Uh, I don't know. Or, or Haley can do it. That's fine. Haley's got it. Cool. Brian's coming down to also welcome the uh, the family as well. The they don't know about the whole situation. Um, they're all like cleaning the house. That's really nice of them. Yeah. So the family doesn't know about the situation. Um, oh God, Brian! I know the air sucks. We're gonna fix it. But I know this neighborhood. It kind of sucks. Um, but anyway. I'm like kind of jumbled up now like that the whole like neighborhood thing like that threw me off now I don't know what to do with that <laughs> um uh it's super cute thank you um okay I'm now I'm just trying to kind of figure out what I'm doing because like loading in and everything being different than the way that it was when I was prepping uh totally threw me off and I also wasn't expecting the family to just like show up because I don't have any space for them. I mean, I guess I can get them some like, <laughs> like some sleeping bags or something to sleep out here because I don't have any room for them. I mean, we've got the bedrooms and stuff up here, but like that's, you know, for the family. I wasn't expecting mom and dad uh, to stop in. I don't have a guest room right now. So, you know, that's perfect. Maybe I could make... What if I made this into a guest room, actually? Because I don't know what I'm going to do with this space. Hang on. What if I, like... Why is that going to get rid of the bookshelf on the other side of the room? That's weird. Why did it do that? Okay, whatever. What if I made this into, like, a guest room, actually? Because I'm like, what am I going to do with that space? Does that make that whole room look really weird? 
I think it. I think it does. Maybe it does make their whole room look a little. A little weird. Hmm. That's so. That's okay. Maybe we won't do that. Hmm. Yeah, because I'm like, I don't have like a guest room or anything. So I guess they're just going to need to get like. We're just going to put like a little like cot down here or something for them because like. I wasn't expecting this. Normally, it gives you a choice. Like, normally when you get the calls, they're like, hey, can I, like, come over for a little bit? And you're able to say yes or no. I, I've never had it where they just, we're just coming over regardless of what you want. You, like, I've never had that happen. So I'm a little, I'm a little thrown off. Where's the, where's, like, the cot? Like, I'm, I don't want to get, like, a sleeping bag for them to sleep on the floor. But there should be... Kind of like, oh, there's like this one, like the little like air mattress. I guess I'll just put that in there for them. They can sleep right there. And then I'll get another one for um, Isaiah's. Like I'll get the smaller one. Where is it? There we go. This is just going to have to be their little sleeping arrangement because I mean, I could do it like that. Nah, it's fine. Whatever. Because yeah, they just decided to pop in unannounced. So, um, whoa. Now it's neutral. It just, did it just fix itself? What happened? Why is it doing that? I need to figure that out. I, somebody let me know what's going on with the, the footprint thing, because I, I swear it was like set to the, like the worst setting when I moved here. And then like now all of a sudden it's just like changing and I don't know why. Uh, you could make a study and then put a Murphy bed in it. Ah, uh, that's true. It looks weird, though, having this closed off in as, like, a separate room. Um, so I'm not sure what to do with that right now. For, for right now, we're just going to leave it like that. Maybe I will end up making, like, a guest room or, like, a study. Because, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure, like, why that ended up happening. Um, okay, well, anyway. I guess we will assign this one to Tim and Daphne. Wait, hang on. Uh, there, Tim and Daphne. And then this one will be Isaiah's bed. Cause yeah, sorry. You guys just dropped in unannounced. I don't have any accommodations for you. <laughs> um, oh, Isaiah's could share with one of the boys. I mean, that's true. They're not I don't know. I'm like, they're not particularly all that close, though. So I don't know if the game would allow them to, like, share a bed. Because, yeah, they're they're not, like, close. Like, they're family, but they're not close. So I, I don't know if it would, like, allow that. Okay, y'all, stop coming outside if the air sucks so bad. Why don't we all go inside, you know? It's, like, well, it's later than dinner time. Um, but why don't we have Haley come cook dinner? I'll have her... I say her and Brian cook. Why don't we cook uh, a meal with, uh, maybe with mom? Um, we'll we'll cook together with Daphne. Uh, we'll have them cook something together for dinner, and then we'll get the whole family to sit together. It's still very awkward right now because of uh, you know, the whole situation um between Haley and Brian. Of course, you know Brian and Haley are still not really on the best of terms right now like they're kind of just they're trying to make things work right now um of course with the uh the new babies and stuff like that like they're they're trying to just kind of like you know work it out right now but of course it is still like really really awkward uh and now with family here and they don't know about the situation we just kind of have to pretend which is kind of not the ideal situation um so you know you know how it is okay we're just gonna put this stuff over here that's fine uh okay are you guys actually cooking in here okay it looks like they are we're gonna go ahead and throw that away uh jared now that we've actually moved into like a new place, um, I was actually gonna get Jared to quit scouts. Um, I deleted, I got rid of his scout board, uh, and I kind of had the thought that like, well, 
to be fair, Jared probably didn't really want to do scouts in the first place. Um, I kind of had the thought that like, it was just sort of something that was like, eh, it's an extracurricular and like something that he was encouraged to do, not forced to do by any means, but encouraged to do. So he kind of just did it. Um, but also on top of that, moving into a new place, a new, uh, like city, a new, you know, everything, I feel like he probably wouldn't be doing, you know, s- scouts anymore. He'd probably it'd be in like a new school, um, and not really be in like the ex- same extracurricular anymore. So I actually would like for him to quit scouts, uh, just because, let me see if I can, yeah, quit, well, quit job. It's not a job, but you know. So yeah, I kind of had the thought like he wouldn't be in Scouts anymore because we've just moved into like a new space. Also, um, Jared likes deception. Uh Uh-oh, what just happened? Hang on, what are you guys talking about? Jared seems to respect the skill it took for Brian to craft such a devious lie. Deception can be hard to pull off, but it sure can keep a conversation full and full of mischief. Um, I'm going to say no. Considering what Jared knows, I don't think he would like deception. (laughs) <laughs> especially you know considering the circumstances uh i'm gonna say no i would actually probably say that he dislikes deception all things considered <laughs> you know um man do i dare trying to open up my sims game do i really want to do that to myself i mean if you would like to uh we could all just play sims together if you guys want to you know y'all who play or build or do whatever you y'all do while you watch my streams. Um, so yeah, quit the after school activity. Yes, we're, we're quitting. We're not doing scouts anymore with Jared. He's just, yeah, we're, we're not doing that anymore. Oh, I did want to get a new dog. We're going to do that tomorrow because it's pretty late at night. It's like 10 p.m. So after they all eat dinner, we'll send them all to bed. Um, and then tomorrow we are going to go ahead and probably get a new dog. Um, Cause yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about that. I want to get them like a new pet. Okay. So everybody, they're kind of hanging out down here in the kitchen. Um, it looks like Tim has come up to chat with Sammy. Uh, I think Sammy was working on his homework. Oh, now he's going to come and ask dad for some advice. Okay. Uh, here let's, oh, some grandparent candy. Did he give him some candy? (laughs) Oh my gosh. Wait, hang on. Did like. Brooke and Jared didn't get any candy. He just came and gave Sammy some candy. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. I've never seen that. Um, here, why don't we call to meal? We're going to get everybody to come down here, eat dinner together. I know there's not a, a lot of space down here for the whole family, but we're going to go ahead and call to meal. Um, baby is crying. Aaron is crying. Oh, but Isaiah actually took care of it. Oh, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Um, also I texted somebody, but they didn't text me back. It's been like an hour. Should I text them again? Brian's like, no, just wait for them to respond. It's fine. Don't just, just wait. (laughs) Come on, Sammy. Um, I wish I could play Sims right now, but I have to continue working on my last programming assignment of the semester. It's due tonight. Uh, also I love getting a cold during the finals week. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I do hope that you feel better. I also hope that your finals go well. Ooh, both babies are crying. Okay. Um, Haley, that's on you, girl. Why don't you come in here? And super efficient newborn care. And then what about you, Brian? Can you also do super efficient care? Let me check. I don't think you can, but we'll do help with needs. Okay, Brian, you you go ahead in there. Brooke, where are you going, my dear? Oh, she came out here to, to chat with uh, Isaiah's. Aw, cute. Okay, you guys come get some dinner. Haley and Brian are going to come in here and take care of the babies. She's feeling a little a little paranoid, you know, so that's great. Okay, come eat some dinner. Brian, uh, he's still crying. He's still crying. Okay, what is wrong? Mm, I'm just going to feed you. I'm going to assume that that's what's wrong. <laughs> Ooh, heartbreak fueled fury uh, from feeling furious with someone nearby. How could that sim betray Brian like that? How dare, how dare that sim show their face? And then missing out on the world. He is still going through his midlife crisis uh, for about a week, uh, a good six days of a midlife crisis. So um, I want to go ahead and actually like try to get some of that stuff done. I did 
buy him a bike. Uh, it's actually out in the backyard. Um, I did buy him a bike because I know that was something he wanted to do was to take a scenic bike ride. Um, so I did do that. And then building a treehouse. I also, of course, have the treehouse. So we're probably going to work on that as well with the boys uh, whenever we get the chance to. Um, but just, you know, with the babies and now family is staying over. So there's kind of just a lot going on right now. Uh, but he does want to go paint, which is really cute. I know that's something he kind of picked up recently as he started painting. So I'm going to let him go do that. You know, if he wants to go paint, then I'll go ahead and let him. Jared, what are you watching? Okay, he's watching a movie out here. Um, Brooke, what's wrong? Oh, well, okay. Let me get her needs taken care of. You need to go to bed. It's like midnight. All of you guys just need to go to bed. Sammy, that's not your bed. Okay, hang on. Let me get everybody where they need to be. Sammy, this is your bed. Go to bed over here. Jared, this is your room over here. Uh, Brooke, we're going to have you go to the bathroom. And then this is your bed right here. Um. Okay. And then let's get these two taken care of. So Haley, go ahead and go to the bathroom. Brian's just going to clean up a little bit before uh before he heads upstairs okay i think once we can get everyone taken care of everybody in bed i know you two probably don't want to sleep in the same bed right now but you're just gonna kind of have to where's where's tim where's timothy is he outside why are you sleeping outside on the your bed is in there what go okay whatever <laughs> whatever it's not a big deal okay i'm gonna fast forward time we're gonna get everybody in bed okay so i also i need to figure out what's going on with the eco footprint stuff probably tomorrow i'll also have Haley come out here and we'll we'll look at that little like message board uh because i've never like looked at that i've never done that so i'm not I'm not exactly sure. Um, you two, what do you, okay. Well, at least I can still fast forward time with the stay over guests here. That's actually really helpful that they don't actually like slow down my, um, my like fast forwarding at all. That's really, really, really helpful. Also, I do have to go by. No worries. No worries. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. Okay. So I know the, Boys are going to be aging up today into infants. Oh, of course, now they are crying. But Brian's already up. He's ooh, contemplating contemplating his life. Okay, well, why don't you stop doing that? I know you're in the middle of a crisis right now. I'm sorry, Brian. Why don't you come down here and take care of your boys? Uh, Christian is crying. Okay. I don't know what's wrong. Find out what's wrong. Okay. Come down here. I, okay, Isaiah is taking care of it. And okay, it looks like they're all just they're all coming in here to, to take care of it. Great, it's perfect. God, now Sammy's up and his needs are terrible. Okay, let's get you taken care of before you guys have to go to school today. Okay, you guys, it's like six in the morning. Take a shower, go to the bathroom. Y'all are gonna have to get ready for school soon. Okay, now the babies are both crying. And I think the family's all going to get in the way, which is really frustrating. Okay, what's what's wrong, Christian? He's hungry. Okay, go ahead and feed him. Brian, where are you going? Where are you going? Come in here. Oh my god. <laughs> Having the newborns right now is just... Ugh. So much stress just on top of everything else. Why, Chris, or, uh, God, Sammy, you were already upstairs. Why, come take a shower. Why do they, like, not, they go to the bathroom and I queue up everything to do in the same room and they feel the need to come all the way downstairs to use a different sink to wash their hands. Man. Okay. I know, Aaron. I know. I know. I know. We're we're getting there. 
I don't know what his... I don't know what's wrong. I'm going to feed you both. Okay. And now, uh, Sammy's getting really tense because he needs video games, like, right now. Okay, well, you have your video game set up. Why don't you go play a game? Jared, we're going to get you up. We need to get you ready for school. Okay, so you go ahead and go to the bathroom. Take a quick shower. Or, you know what? Just hop in the shower. Just, just go to the shower. Okay. And then, Brooke, you're also going to need to get up, girly. Although, her needs are fine, so she seems to be okay. Okay. I, I think we're, I think we're all right. Alrighty. I think everything is, like, a little, a little bit better. Okay, Brian, go ahead and go to the bathroom. The babies are not crying anymore. They're taken care of. Okay, and then Haley. We're going to get Haley up. We're going to get her up. And then I want to, like, figure out what's going on here. Because I can't have her join the politician career yet. Um, hang on. I'm going to have her come out here. I can't have her join the politician career yet because she's still a young adult. Her birthday is going to be pretty soon. Uh, well, it's set for six days. I kind of want her to age up already, so I might have an early birthday party for her in today's episode. Uh, just because she was pregnant so many times that it really pushed her age back. Um, and I really want to be able to just age her up into an adult. I want to kind of get her into the career, you know, get her kind of started on like this new chapter of her life. Uh, so I probably will age her up probably by the end of the episode, even if it's not fully like her birthday yet. Okay, but let's see what's going on. Okay, the kids are all off to school. Hang on. What did that say? Um, we can be the change our future us needs. Vote today. Okay, well, how... Voting is currently closed. Great. What is currently on right now? So, green gardening, green initiatives, modern development, and upcycling initiative. Okay. I mean, that's all pretty good. Do I not get... Okay, well, she can't vote right now. So I don't really know how you're supposed to do that part of the thing, but it looks like I can't even do it, which is really frustrating. Uh, you kiddos all need to go to school. Jared is already at school. This is their first day at, like, a new school. Um, so I'm going to have... I mean, Jared listen to teachers. He doesn't have a lot of friends, uh, but he's also really not the type to make friends uh very easily he's you know like i'm gonna have all brooke also listen to teacher sammy get your butt to school stop playing video games and go to school um but yeah i do want jared to have some friends i might have him try to make friends for like a little bit but he doesn't really make friends very easily um he's kind of he kind of keeps to himself so, I don't know. I'll have Sammy make some friends, though, because that's, that's, like, his specialty. He's very social. He, you know, makes friends very, very easily. Uh, so, I'm going to have him do that. Brian. I'm going to let Brian take the bike out. Uh, I'm going to have him ride around on the... Okay. I don't really know how it's, like... Hang on. I want to... Here, put that right there. Uh, for the actual thing I need to do, it just says take a scenic bike ride. Do I just purchase a bike and just get riding? Okay, so I literally just have him ride. Okay, well, just go ride around on your bike. That's fine. Okay, taking care of the babies. Uh, you should get... Uh, a dog. Yes, you're right. I do need to do that. Uh, also, okay, the teacher has to step out for a second to talk to a parent. Uh, she asks Jared to run the class for a little while. Should Jared keep following the lesson plan uh, that the teacher laid out or do something fun and easy? He would follow the plan. Absolutely. He He's a perfectionist. He also wouldn't want to get in trouble. It's also his first day at like a new school. So, you know, uh, it was going to be a quiet working day anyway. Jared's classmates barely even noticed the difference. It's not like he's lecturing them on the periodic table or anything. Okay, good. So it, it didn't go, you know, terribly or anything like that. And the babies are still crying. So, Haley, 
Um, come in here and change his diaper, please. Yeah, first day, teach the class. Yeah, like, I don't know, like, he's like the new student in class, but the teacher just like clocked him immediately. It was like, oh no, I can tell you're like a good kid. You're like a, a good student. You're actually gonna like do what I ask you to do. <laughs> so the teacher just immediately like clocked Jared and it was like, yeah, I know what kind of student you are. Um, I can trust you to like follow the lection, the, the, the lesson plan, the lecture, you know. Okay, so we've got everybody just kind of cleaning the house right now. Uh, Brian is out riding his bike right now. Um, and then I do want to get a dog. That was something I did want to do. So, all right, I'm just going to have Haley do it. Or, I mean, I was going to have Brian probably do it too. Cause Brian's the dog lover. So, hey, Knox. Uh, hey, neighbor, do you want to learn how you can make a difference? If you've got a minute, I'd love to chat with you about how your vote can help make the neighborhood green. Okay. Normally, I would just be like, leave me alone. Uh, but actually, that's kind of perfect for what I need. So um, when Brian finally makes his way home, then we'll get the dog. But I am actually going to have Haley come out and talk to Knox because um, that is something that I actually do want to do with her. So, okay. Let's come out here and chat with him and we'll kind of figure out how I can actually do this. Because this is exactly what... You know, what we're thinking about doing with, with Haley. Oh, I think that was Brian. There he is. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, Knox, please tell me what I need to do. So, learn about voting green. Uh, maybe also do a friendly introduction. We'll talk about eco lifestyle, things like that with him. Um... Maybe work on the treehouse when the boys come back from school. Yeah, that's definitely something I want to do. Oh, Taylor's here. Hi, Taylor. Um, why are you here? Also, uh, I'm, I was going to do some stuff with Taylor in the background, but I didn't get the chance to. So currently, as of right now, Taylor still doesn't... Well, to my knowledge, she still doesn't know because I didn't do anything. Um, but she's here. She showed up. Hi. I thought we were going to talk to, we we're going to talk to Knox. Um, okay. Hi, Taylor. I don't, I, I don't know why you're here. Uh, also Daphne apparently wants to be best friends with Brian. I sure. Of course. I mean, that's his mother-in-law. So I sure definitely, definitely, definitely want to be friends with your mother-in-law <laughs> for sure. Where is, where is he? Oh, he's right here. Okay, well, I'm kind of all over the place today. I apologize. Anyway, back to what we were going to do. Okay, this is a lot to read. Okay, cool. So welcome to Evergreen Harbor. My name is Knox, and not to toot my own horn, but people regard me as a bit of an eco-master around these parts. I utterly love talking about living in, uh, living the eco-lifestyle. Did you know that you can vote on the neighborhood action plans? Uh, if you want to help out the neighborhood for a better eco-footprint, then there are a lot of great options that you can help me in supporting. Do it for the trees. So the green initiatives, the eco-friendly appliances, and the clean energy production. Voting is easy. You can vote at the voting boards uh, or at the mailbox. Um, just make sure that you have enough influence points. I've given you a few to get started. Okay, so voting ends on Monday at 6 p.m. Thanks for the info. Okay, cool. Great. Does that mean voting is actually open right now? Hang on. Voting is not open. Voting is closed. When, when is voting open? Voting schedule, uh, Friday at 8 a.m. through Monday at 6 p.m. Okay, so it's only through, like, the weekend. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So we do need to work more on this, like, eco-friendly appliances, it looks like. But these other ones are already there. So I don't really know what to do about that. Anyway, um, hi, hi, Taylor. <laughs> This is a little awkward. I think maybe we should talk to her. If she's here already, maybe we should be the one. Oh, she's leaving. No, I was about to say, maybe we should be the one to talk to her as opposed to her hearing it from Elijah because Elijah is probably going to give her the worst side of it. Um, but no, she's leaving. She decided to just leave. Okay. Well, that means... Uh, yeah, okay. So Jared is feeling a little bit stressed. I want him to make like some friends. I'm really hoping he can, like, make 
at least like a couple of friends. Brian, stop doing sit-ups in the middle of the street. Can you come down here? We want to get a dog. That's what we want to do. I, I don't want to forget that. So why don't you come up here? Uh, and Brian, we're going to go ahead and do household adopt a dog. Okay. We're going to have him come up here and we're going to do that. I want to see what, what dogs can we adopt? Because I don't have a particular like kind or breed or anything like that. Um, I just want to see like which ones are available. Okay. Brian, come up here. No, don't bike here. Don't. Don't, you can't bike upstairs. <laughs> Just come here. Walk here. Where are you? There. Okay. I don't know what's going on with my game today, you guys. Okay. Haley also really still wants to talk over the relationship fears with Brian. But of course, that's not really something we can do with the family here. Um, So we kind of just have to wait out their stay before we can officially, like, really talk things over with Brian. Um... So right now, they're just kind of, you know, are you just going to put the bike there? Okay, cool, great. No, stop it. <laughs> Do not ride the bike on your balcony. What are you doing? Get off the bike. <laughs> what is going on? Um... So maybe Taylor came to just check out the new house. I mean, that's true. Maybe she just wanted to stop by. It's just a little awkward considering everything. Uh, anyway, we're going to adopt a dog. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. Let's see what, what dogs are here. Okay. Bandit looks super cute. Uh, oh my god, Peanut. And shaky. Oh my god, they look so cute. Um, <laughs> so these are the dogs that we have. Also pickles. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, so these ones are like, they're not all puppies. But, okay. Let's see. I'm gonna need your guys' help to decide. I think, oh my god, Emma is also super cute too. Emma's a chihuahua. Um, I've had so many chihuahuas in my life. In my, like, real life. God, I've had so many. Um, we have Bandit, who's really, really cute. Peanut is super cute. Peanut is a bulldog. Uh, Shaky is another Spaniel. Shaky is really cute, too. I think the Spaniels are super, super cute. Um, let's see. We've also got Pippa, who's a terrier. Uh, Pickles is an Akita. Hmm. Felix is really cute. Peanut. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is going to be a hard decision. It will be. Um, Tanner is also super cute. A little miniature poodle. Aw. Cute. Okay. Uh, I think a larger or a medium sized dog. Uh, I do like the look of Peanut or Bandit. Uh, I do agree. Having probably a bigger dog, um, like a medium or a large dog, would be kind of the vibe uh that's that's kind of also what i'm thinking too um peanut is adorable peanut peanut the the little bulldog uh i like the look of peanut and bandit or pickles uh pickles is really cute too um hmm i think i do like peanut peanut is super cute getting like a cute little bulldog uh i think peanut or pickles okay i think I like peanut. I think peanut is super cute. Uh, so I think we're going to go ahead and get peanut. <laughs> so the, the adoption person should show up like any second now. So then we'll, we'll get to like actually see the, the puppy. You can invite up to three over and see. That's true. I could have invited more over. Like that doesn't mean I was just going to like pick that one. I didn't think about that. It only let me do one, though. Like, the second I clicked it, it, it said, like, done. So, maybe... Wait. I'm like, where is the... Is the pet adoption... Did it not... Did it not do it? Oh, crap. I know the babies are crying. I know, I know, I know. Did it not work? No, because that's Beth Sterling. That's not the... I'm confused. Oh my god. 
All right. Haley would come out here and talk to Bess. Uh, I, th I don't really want to right now because I'm trying to do something else, but um, Haley would at least come out here to like talk to her. So we'll have Haley go talk to her. Why did the adoption thing not work? Oh, no, there it is. Okay. I was really worried that it didn't work. Okay. 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 The adoption agent is here. We've got babies screaming. We've got... Oh, my God. Look at... <laughs> oh, my gosh. <gasps> Look at little Peanut. Look at the way she moves. I think it's a girl. I think Peanut was a girl. Oh my gosh. Look at the way she like runs around. Okay, hang on. Where Where's the dog? There. Oh my god. It's because you already have seven people. So you could only do one. Uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh my gosh though. So cute. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, I'll have Brian come down. We are so all over the place. Hang on. Brian, come introduce yourself to this dog. Haley, go say hi to, uh, go say hi to, to Bess. I'll have her come out here, do some of that stuff. Brian can take care of the dog. Parents can take care of the babies. That's kind of everything. Okay, so Brian and Peanut just became acquaintances. Apparently it wasn't a good, no. Why are you yelling at... No! Peanut! <laughs> uh, okay, also profitable neighborhood action plans. Uh, thanks for the ear. Best sterling at your service. Let's just say I'm a bit of an entrepreneur when it comes to business dealings. Do you want to make some quick money fast? Of course you do. And you know I'm your go-to sim. Let's go get this bread. The more we get into dealing with some serious simoleons, the more we'll need to start talking on neighborhood action plans. Um, so the modern development, tech support, promoting creative, promoting creative arts... Uh, okay, I get it now. Okay, so her, like, vision for the neighborhood versus, like, Nock's vision for the neighborhood. Okay, so I, I've never fully played with the eco lifestyle, so I never kind of knew, um, the difference between that stuff. Okay, so we're just gonna say thanks for the info. Cool, great, thank you. I swear, I get it now. Okay, uh, you can, you can go home now. We've got a lot of other things I'm trying to work on right now. Okay, mom's taking care of the babies, that's fine. Okay, so Brian did not, uh, why don't you give, give Peanut a treat? The exact same thing happened with Cinnamon. When we adopted Cinnamon the first time, Brian, like, went to, like, introduce himself to the dog and, like, Cinnamon immediately, like, barked at him. So the exact same thing happened here with Peanut. But if we give her a treat, okay, I would say if we give her a treat, maybe then here, we'll, I think, I would say, I think it's a, a girl dog. Uh, we'll go ahead and offer friendship. Oh my god, the baby's crying. Mom is not doing a great job of taking care of these babies. I'm trying to figure out here. Just just fix that. Okay. Uh oh, Brooke wants to invite over a classmate Tanya. Yeah, you can totally invite your friend over. And Sammy wants to invite over Diana. Ooh. Sammy, maybe have a little girlfriend? Maybe. Uh, also, Brooke is a B student. Okay, good for her. Uh, Sammy is still a B student. He hasn't gone up. And then Jared, of course, is still an A student. He's one of the top students in high school. Good for him. Um, why are you feeling sad? Time to wear black. You're already wearing black. Sammy, he's kind of going through a bit of a sad uh, mood swing at the moment. Um, Jared is feeling extremely stressed out from school so that's great I mean his first day of school of course he would or first day of a new school of course he would be stressed but yeah so Jared is really tense Sammy's sad um Brooke is feeling great she's super happy she's feeling confident uh she is a little bit stressed but it's not too bad um but we're inviting over a little a little classmate a little friend uh and then apparently Sammy is also inviting over a girl uh so you know that's a little interesting. Um, anyway, we've got a lot going on at the moment, so I'm trying to kind of get this stuff figured out. But, okay, everybody is home. Is this Diana Hansen? Okay, hang on. She also looks a little sad. Um, so, oh my god, Isaiah, I'm sorry, man. Okay, so hang on. Sammy, why don't you invite her in? Uh, enthused about video games. We'll, like, invite her in. Who are you? I'm, I'm kind of curious. Hang on. 
Let me... Oh, she's feeling a little uncomfortable. Okay, well, I'm sorry about that. Let's try to... Oh, I know you're feeling sad right now, but we'll try to, like, maybe make her feel better. Oh, that, they got a negative for that. For, I think he... Uh, oh, Tanya Landgrab. Why is... All of Brooke's friends are, like, land grabs. Because the other kid... Well, he wasn't, like, officially by name a land grab because he was Johnny Zest's son. But, you know, by genes, he was a land grab. And now we've got Tanya Landgrab, who is by name a land grab. Um, yeah, literally Jeffrey and Nancy's daughter. Why are all of, like, Brooke's friends at school? Like, they're all, like, land grabs. <laughs> okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, we're going to have... Why don't you swing with Tanya? We've got so many people in this house right now. Um, it, and, of course, it's the baby's birthday. Of course it is. Okay, so we've got so many people in this house right now. Brian, we're going to adopt this dog because he actually really likes a doggy. Oh, from meeting a new dog friend. That's so cute. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Just adopt Peanut, because I think Peanut is really cute. So we're going to go ahead and adopt her. Uh, so let's do that. Okay. Let's just at least get one person out of the house. Get the adoption agent out of here. Also, Jared is feeling flirty. Interesting. Okay. Uh, are you sure that you want to adopt this pet? Yes. We are taking care of Peanut. <laughs> Peanut is so cute. Okay. Congratulations. You've added a pet to your household. Aww. Look at the way he cradles uh, the dog in his hands. She's so tiny. So cute. Okay. So yes, uh, we're going to go ahead and end the adoption evaluation. Get this guy out of our house. We've got a new little dog. Um, I am going to need to put out some like pet stuff. I haven't done that. Um, but we're going to go ahead and offer friendship. I see Jared is getting a call. Oh, Jared is eligible for early graduation. Would you like to? Hmm. That's, I feel like Jared probably would graduate early. Maybe not right now, like right this second. But since he does have like, I mean, the option to, I feel like he probably would graduate early. That's actually exactly what uh, Brian did. Not with high school, but with college. He actually did like rush to graduate early. So um, I feel like that is something that Jared would do. Not like right this second, um, but... Okay, that's interesting to know that that is something available to him. So we're going to go ahead and say no just for right now. But he is performing superbly. He can graduate early if he talks to the principal or uses the computer. Good job, Jared. Um, also, oh, is Tanya evil as well? That would be funny. It would be really funny. Let me actually uh, kind of get to know her a little bit. Where is she? We're out here chatting with uh, with mom. I'm going to have her talk to Tanya a little bit. I want to get to know what her trait is. Because if she was also evil, that would be super funny. Um, we're going to do small talk. Get to know. We'll get to know her. Uh, after, you know, we chat with mom for a little bit. And then... Oh, uh, Jared was watching, like, a romantic TV show. That's why he was feeling flirty. Why don't you introduce yourself to the dog? Why don't you offer friendship? Talk to the new little puppy. Cute. And then... Oh, she's an art lover. Okay, well, that makes uh, more sense as to why these two would get along very well. Because um, Brooke is also creative. She has the artistic prodigy. Uh, because she's going to be more into, like, flowers and gardening. And, like, she's going to be very into, like, that kind of stuff. Uh, but it makes sense. Okay, so, like, these two get along probably a little bit better than... Um, the other kid that she brought over who was evil. But yeah, so she's an art lover. So she's also creative too, which is really cute. Um, anyway, I'm like trying to manage everybody in this house and it's kind of not going great. So Timothy, you need to get out of here. I was having Sammy kind of talk to this girl. I wanted to see like, hang on, what do you think of her? I'm a little, I'm a little curious. Very unattractive. Do you even have actually, hang on. I don't think he has preferences. Give me, give me a quick second. We're going to just develop Sammy's preferences. Just automatic, moderate. Like, just just random. And then we'll kind of see what what he thinks. No, still very unattractive? Or did it still not... Did it not, like, do I need to give it a second? No. Okay, never mind. He's not into her. I, 
okay, never mind. He he she's just a friend. Um just a classmate from school. Okay, so he's not into her like at all. Um what is your trait? Why why are you two friends? Cuz she didn't like when he talked about video games. So now I'm kind of curious what what are you into? Get to know. Who are you, Diana? Why are you here? Um so he would graduate early, but not yet. And then he can actually start college as a teenager if he does want to go to college. I feel like he would go to college. I, I do agree with you. She's a glutton. Okay. What is your other trait? Um, is he going to go to college? I, I would assume that he would, definitely. Jared does strike me as the type to go off to university. Um, so that would be actually probably a really good thing is that, yeah, we could like have him graduate early and then get him started on university early. Uh, I feel like he probably would, probably, he he would do that. Um, I can totally see that. Okay, so this girl, she's a glutton. What's your other trait? Haley, come take care of the crying baby. We need to age them up too, if I wasn't already stressed enough. We will, I don't know what's wrong. And now my game is kind of laggy. Okay, sorry, my game is getting a little laggy. Okay, Sammy has a good reputation. Interesting. I didn't find out what her other trait was. So, I don't know what this girl's other trait is. We're just going to send her home. Uh, I was thinking maybe, you know, I was like, oh, did he invite over a girl? Because, like, you know, he's, like, interested in her. It doesn't look like it. No, <laughs> he just he just invited her over to hang out. She's just a friend. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and send her home for now, because they're, you know. I've already got too much going on at the moment. Um, Haley, we need to take care of this baby who's still crying. I didn't even see what was wrong. So just do your super efficient care. Okay. Great. All right, babies should be fine now. And I did want to start working on the treehouse. I know somebody mentioned that. It's like 5.30, so it's kind of late right now. Um, oh, but these two are, like, playing. They are, you know, having a good time. Uh, these two are, like, out here chatting. Here, why don't we talk about the best color, which is pink, of course. Uh, pink is her favorite color. It's also one of mine as well. We'll play make-believe as well. You know, have them, like, actually... I want these two to actually, like, be friends. The other... Um, the other kid who was here uh, was evil, so I don't think they're really going to be friends. But I would like her to be friends uh, with Tanya. I feel like that would be really cute. Okay, so we're going to build a treehouse. And I want to get the boys out here, too. So why don't you come out here? Sammy, you too. I know he Sammy doesn't have, like, any handiness skill. Um, but Jared does. Jared has a bit of handiness. Uh, and then I just want to get all of them kind of out here together build in that tree house okay and we will be aging up the babies and stuff too just God, not not right the second i'm trying to deal with like everything all at once okay all right all of the boys y'all all come out here and work on that together maybe even i'll say isaiah could you help but i don't think i can ask him to like help so we're just going to get them all kind of doing it, which I love that these two are actually like building it. And Sammy's just kind of like, yeah, you got this, dad. Because <laughs> he doesn't have, literally, he acquired the handiness skill. He's like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't have any handiness. He's just on his phone watching, watching Jared do it while Jared like builds. <laughs> that feels very like in character for Sammy. He's like, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll just, I'll be moral support. I'll watch you guys do it, and I'll, like, hang out with you while you do it. I think that's very in character. <laughs> that's super funny. Um, okay, Haley, what are you up to? Washing her hands right now, going to the bathroom. Okay. She's, she's getting all, you know, taken care of in there. Oh, my God, look at little Peanut. Little Peanut running out here. So cute. Oh, my gosh. I love her. Look how cute she is. So precious. Oh, are you coming out here too? What's what's up? Oh, okay, bye. 
Oh, Sammy, you're all right, man. I know you're going through a mood swing right now, but you're fine. Jared has reached handiness level seven. Wow, he actually has a lot of handiness. I love that Sammy is doing nothing. This is so funny. Like, it's so in character. He's doing, he's gaining handiness skill, but he's not doing anything. <laughs> Which is so funny to me. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're all just kind of hanging out out here. We're all just chatting. Little Peanut is sitting out here. Uh, this random kid is still here talking to Grandpa. So why don't we send her home? Brooke, she really, really needs to go to the bathroom. Okay. Go ahead. Go to the bathroom. Get something to eat. Tanya is going to be leaving for the night. That's fine. It is getting a little late. So get some leftovers, all that stuff. Um, oh, thank you so much for the sub. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much. Um, I appreciate you. Uh, Sammy just reached handiness level two by literally just watching. He's not doing anything. Okay. So Brooke, she's going to get herself taken care of. Probably get some leftovers. I think, oh no, I'll say mom is cooking. No, she's not. She's just cleaning the grill. She's just cleaning. That's fine. Um, uh, all right. It, it's coming along. It is coming along. I don't want them to all, I mean, they're not going to do it all in one night. So we are going to probably, you know, we're going to have them stop for tonight. It's getting really dark. Everybody's really hungry. Uh, they're not going to do it all at once. This is like a slow process. So we're going to let them all take a break. Uh, that's it for tonight because it is getting really dark. Uh, so everybody come in here, get some... Uh, oh, no, there isn't any dinner right here. Oh, there's food out here. Okay, thank God. It looks like they did actually cook something. So go ahead and grab a serving. Sammy just got some food. Brooke got some food. Haley's fine. Brian is fine. He's going to contemplate life for a little bit, but he's at least doing okay. Okay, and then we're probably going to age up the babies tomorrow. I'm not going to do it tonight. We're going to do it tomorrow. Uh, we're just going to kind of just get everybody in bed. Also, Peanut is a loyal dog. They like to stay close to their owner. Aw, that's so cute. That's really cute. Okay. Let's get you guys all in bed. It's getting a little late. So, Haley, get to sleep. Brooke, get to sleep. Jared... Oh, God, I was going to say, is Jared going to be mean to his brother? I saw it pop up, but I don't think he actually did. Yeah, all the boys are just kind of hanging out in here. Oh, yeah, he's still going through a mean streak right now. Jared is, so he's, um... Uh, yeah, we're he's still kind of going through it a little bit. Why don't you clean up? Brian, you can go ahead, go to the bathroom, get to bed. Uh, Sammy also you need to go to the bathroom and then get to bed as well okay after well Brian has to use the bathroom first and then we can get him to go to bed too all right everybody get taken care of Sammy you go to the bathroom and then we'll get you sent to bed as well None of the kids did their homework. I did realize that. We all kind of just like, you know. Um, oh my god, Tim, can you get out of the bath? Or No, that's not Tim. That's Isaiah. Can you get out of the bathtub? I need to use the bathroom. Y'all are like, okay. Well, Sammy is finishing up in the bathroom. Oh, no, he's not. Never mind. Because Isaiah is in the bathtub. There we go. Okay, there he is. He He's, he's out now. Okay. Perfect. Okay, are you guys actually going to take care of the baby, or are you just going to do nothing? Okay, thank you so much, Isaiah. So I appreciate you. Hopefully that actually works, and you actually do what the baby needs, hopefully. No, you're not doing what he needs. Okay, this is so annoying. I'm going to have Jared just do it. Isaiah, go away. I don't know what you need, so why don't you just... 
Oh my god. No, everybody's in the way now. This is so frustrating. Everybody just gets in the way. Okay, fine. Jared, just go upstairs. Go to bed. See, look, they don't do, they don't do what they're supposed to do. They just like come in and like mess with the baby, but they don't actually like take care of it. Okay, Brian. <sighs> We're going to get Brian to do it cuz y'all are not doing what the go away. Tim, get out of here. <laughs> they just keep changing the baby's diaper. The baby doesn't need a diaper change. Go away. Stop. <laughs> the baby's hungry. Oh my gosh. Okay, give him a bottle. Oh, man. Okay, I'm like, let Brian do it. Like, he actually knows what he needs to do. I love that Peanut is following Brian around the house. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I love her. Look at little Peanut. I love her. She's so cute. What is okay? Hang on, I want to see her, her traits. She's hairy, she's loyal, and she's stubborn. Okay. Oh man. So he's gone through an entire pack of diapers. Stop. I know. They literally just keep changing the baby's diaper over and over. That's all they do. It's like, oh my god, you're using up all my diapers. Stop it. Okay. See, Brian, the best dad is is here he's got it oh he's just cuddling the babies go ahead and rock him kiss christian's forehead oh brian really is the best dad like i think probably out of like ever, like <laughs> i make the joke a lot whenever i have uh sims who are like not good dads i always make the joke like haha best dad um, I think Brian, like, it, it's, like, sincere, though. Like, legitimately. He really is. Okay, dude, go away. Brian has a great reputa reputation. Cool. Great. Oh, my God. Baby's crying, and Peanut needs to go outside. We need to train her so that way she doesn't pee in the house. Okay. Quickly get her to go outside, please. God, the diapers are so expensive, too, and they just keep using them. I know. <laughs> Okay, Peanut, you can go ahead and go potty outside. We've got Aaron is crying. Tim, don't you dare. Okay, I was like, literally, don't you dare. Of course, the one that actually does need a diaper change. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Brian has got it. Brian, super dad, he's got it. Go ahead and cuddle baby Aaron. Oh, he's still... Okay, I think he's also hungry, so we'll go ahead and feed him, too. Show him some love. Show him some attention. Give him a bottle. What does that sound? Tim... St st Sammy's trying to sleep. Stop. Put the soccer ball down. Go... Get out of my son's room. Stop it. Go to bed. <laughs> Where's... Wait... Where's, where's Peanut? Oh, there, okay, there she is. Look at, oh my god, look at her little run. She's so cute. I love her. I love the little, like, puppies. They're so precious. Okay, now we do need to change Christian's diaper. And he just became good friends with both of them. No, don't drink the puddle. Oh, no, 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 no. Peanut, peanut, peanut. Do not drink the puddle. That's so gross. No. Ew. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like, the baby can wait. I, you. Here, we'll also throw this away. Mop that up. Clean that up so that way the dog doesn't drink out of that puddle. That's so gross. Okay, back to... The baby care as well change dirty diaper i've never adopted a pet in the sims but now i really want to the puppy is so cute yeah i know she's so so cute i i really love like the the puppies and kittens oh finally you actually do the thing that he needs thank you it's the diaper that's the only thing tim can do is change diapers he can't do anything else all he can do is change diapers <laughs> uh okay 
Also, I have to go now. No worries. No worries. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm glad that you were here. Thank you. Okay. Now Brian just like needs a shower and he needs to get in bed. Okay. Get to bed. All right. I also, I do need to get, oh, I need to get a food bowl and stuff actually. Because we do also need to, I need to make sure I actually get the dog fed. That's something I need to do. So let me quickly hop into here. Um, I don't think, because I, I think I got rid of the one that I had because Cinnamon had passed away. So I don't think I have one right now. Let me, here, we'll go ahead and get a new one. I'm going to go ahead and get the same one I did before. I think I had the um, automatic one. So we'll go ahead and put that right there. And then I think just while I'm in here, while I'm in here, we'll go ahead and get a little bed for her as well. Um, let's just put it over here for right now. Put that right there. I like the bright, the bright color on that. And it's blue and yellow, which is perfect. That's exactly like what I want is having like blues and yellows in the house. And it's like the bright color, which is really cute. Okay, we're just gonna put that over there for right now. Of course, as we sort of uh, fix up the house a little bit more, we'll rearrange things. Okay, cool. Also, Brian, before you get to bed, uh, I am gonna have you fill this. Probably also set that, it's set for six hours, so that's fine. It's once you fill it, why did you just walk in when I'm in the shower? Tim, what are you doing? Get out! <laughs> oh my god. Brian's like, hello? He didn't even react. Neither of them reacted. They don't even care. They're just like, you know, whatever. <laughs> As Grandpa just, just walked in. Who cares? That's fine. Uh, also, maybe call Peanut to eat, and then we're gonna get to bed. Oh my gosh. Okay. Get to bed. Haley is now up. The baby's not crying anymore, girl. What are you doing? The baby's not even crying anymore. Okay, well now she needs to take a shower, so we'll just let her take a shower. That's fine. We're we're switching out here. When the Sims mop, it's like they don't even actually mop over the spot that needs it. Yeah, I know, they just kind of like move the mop around and then it's like, oh, it's fixed. It's clean. <laughs> okay. We also haven't even had any time to do laundry. Um. All of their uh, hampers are getting pretty full. We haven't even had the chance to do any laundry. So I think that's something we also need to get done. Um, oh, apparently Isaiah is a glutton as well. I saw that animation just now. Okay. Why don't you get something to eat really quick? This is ooh, 40 minutes until spoil. Is that worth it if you just eat it right now? Hurry. 40 minutes until spoiled. Quickly just eat that and then, uh, before it spoils, Haley, hurry. I'm like, if you just eat it really quickly before it actually goes bad, then it should be fine. Okay. Perfect. It's like three in the morning. Everybody is still up. So let's just get her sent to bed. Okay, after you clean up those dishes, just get you to bed. Tim, don't you dare come up here and start playing with the soccer ball. Get out of... Mm. <laughs> the stayover guests are kind of starting to frustrate me a little bit. I could just end it. I could just kick them out, I think. I might just kick them out tomorrow and be like, you know what? Well, we're about to have infants, so like, is it worth it, actually? Hang on, let me look. Is there any holidays coming up? The babies are going to age up. And then, I mean, Neighborhood Brawl is going to be on Saturday, but that's not like a real holiday, you know? Winterfest is coming up next week, but we'll just invite them back over for Winterfest. We'll have like a family Winterfest, but I think tomorrow we're going to kick kick mom and dad out because like it's just... <laughs> they're kind of causing more harm than good. Also, oh, they are cuddling again. That makes me happy. I know things aren't perfect between them right now and things are still very like awkward, but like they're cuddling again in bed. That makes me happy. Okay, Sammy is up and needing some food. 
Baby's also crying, so that's great. Why don't you just have a quick meal? Just get some cereal. Oh my god. Okay. Um, Haley's up. Perfect. Get Haley in here to deal with the babies. You really want two infants with all of these people here? No, I don't. I'm gonna kick them out. Because they're actually really starting to bug me. Of course, all they do is change diapers. That's not what he needed. I'm just gonna... No, wait, he is... He did need a diaper change, and that still didn't work. Ooh, Haley is thinking about Taylor right now. Yeah, she was... Sammy's getting all of the candy. <laughs> I think she did... He's gotten three things of candy. Oh my god, they're all... They're all giving candy to Sammy and nobody else. <laughs> Has any of the others? Oh, never mind. Jared has gotten some candy. Brooke hasn't gotten any candy. They're giving candy to the boys, but they're not giving any to Brooke. Oh, that makes me sad. Brooke is like the one I feel like that they should be giving candy. I mean, I know like the grandparents, you know, give it to all the grandkids, but like, come on. She's like the grandbaby, you know, and she's the only granddaughter. Like, that they have at all because Taylor of course doesn't have any kids so she's the only granddaughter that they have she should be getting all of the candy <laughs> um at least just kick Tim out yeah literally honestly um yeah just end it they're really more in the way than they are helping I agree 100% it's like 6 30 in the morning I'm just gonna go ahead and end it now like just just get out get cancel the stay over get out of my house y'all are so not helpful. Just get out. Okay. Your stay over house guests have returned home. Or they're about to return home. Okay. Good. Get out. She's like, Dad, I love you guys. Like, Mom, I love you. But, like, I, things are too stressful right now. Like, I am I know you guys are trying to help. But, like, I really, really can't handle it right now. Okay. So I'm like, can we get you guys out of here? Can we like legit kick you out now? Or are you guys just gonna leave? Oh my God, cause all, okay. You guys are hungry. You guys need to get ready for school really, really soon. So have a quick meal, get some cereal. Okay, yeah, there they go. They're leaving. There they go. And they left their suitcases and everything here. So I guess we're just gonna sell those. <laughs> We're just going to get rid of these beds. We're going to sell uh, their... Well, the suitcases, I guess we can't. But that's fine. Get rid of that stuff. Because that was, like, too stressful. <laughs> I don't need all that stuff in here. Okay. But we do have Brian and Haley down here taking care of the twins. So we are going to go ahead and age them up today. It's going to be a lot to handle having two infants. But I think while the boys... Oh, not just the boys. While all of the kids are at school, we're going to go ahead and uh, age age them up. So, okay. Jared, come get some cereal. Please. What do you mean you can't? Brian, stop it. I... Can you stop, please? I need you to, like... Here, go feed him. Jared, come get some food. I'm trying really hard and nothing is going the way I want. He really, really wants to ask Haley for some advice. Like, he keeps wanting to ask for advice. Haley, what do you chicken stir fry at seven in the morning? Can you stop? <laughs> now is not the time for that. What's wrong, Jared? What do you need advice on? I'm hideous. My face is a mess and I can't go anywhere. Okay, she's like, it's fine. Y you don't overreact. You look fine, Jared. It's okay. He's really like stressed all the time. Um, okay, please come get some cereal. Sammy, he also needs to eat. Nobody is eating. Like, I keep telling them to do stuff and nobody's doing anything. Why are you feeling so nauseous? Oh, she gets nauseous whenever she goes on the swing, I've noticed. I wonder if she's getting motion sickness from that. Because every single time I've had her, like, go swing, she ends up getting really nauseous. Oh my gosh. Okay. Girl, she really, really needs a shower so go take a quick shower i know you're hungry but okay before you go to school you skip school but i'm gonna send her to school just please go take a shower first and then you can go to school okay and then we've got her taking care of the babies that's fine okay 
Brian, I guess he picked up that chicken stir fry. They really, really want a chicken stir fry. Okay, fine. Jared is the only one going off to school. Sammy has just walked in while she was in the shower. Jared, or not Jared, Sammy, go to school. <sighs> Man. Okay. I'm going to have Jared try to make some more friends. I don't think it's going to work. He's in a better mood today, so maybe he will make a friend. But I don't know. I... If he doesn't, if we get the option to graduate early today, which he probably will, but if we get that option, he might actually graduate early this weekend. Maybe not today, actually. Maybe tomorrow. Uh, when it actually hits Friday, we might actually have Jared um, graduate early. Make some friends. Oh, the girl Diana has just come in. Sammy's not here right now. Uh, Di Diana, hello? Brooke, go to school, girl. I know you're setting the table. That's very sweet of you, but I need you to go to school. Okay, well, uh, this girl who was, like, Sammy's friend, I guess uh, she just walked in the house. Um, Sammy's not here, so I'm going to need you to get out. I'm going to need you to leave. Girl, go go away. I'm trying to get her to go. Get out. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Anyway. Oh, Pina is hanging out in here with the babies. Oh, cute. Okay, they are sleeping right now, but I'm just going to go ahead and age them up. Because, uh, yeah, we just, we're going to age up the boys because I, now that the house is quiet, everybody's at school right now. Uh, I'm going to have her, ba -ba 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 -ba, have her listen to teacher. And then, yeah, Sammy's still making friends. Jared is making friends. If he makes, like, a couple friends at school, that would be really nice. Um, okay, but Haley and Brian, I'm going to have you guys come in here. So Aaron is older, so we're going to come in here and age up Aaron first. Just come and age him up. And then this girl is back again. Sammy is not here. If you want to see Sammy, then go to school. Get out. She keeps coming back. He's not here. <laughs> okay. And then we need to age up Christian next. <laughs> okay. All right. So Aaron is aging up first. And what do we got? Randomize. Wiggly. Okay. So Aaron is going to be a wiggly baby. Interesting. He aged up with green hair for some reason. That's a little weird. And now Christian, oh, of course, hang on. Uh, Jared, take your studies outside. Yes, he would do that. Sammy's last math test was not his best work. He got a so-so grade. It could really bring down his average. Should he get some extra credit or just try to get the better grade next time? Uh, he's like, I'll just work harder next time. That's, that's Sammy's attitude. Jared would get extra credit, but Sammy wouldn't. He would just be like, I'll just do better next time. That's fine. Anyways, okay, cool. Now the second baby is aging up. So Christian is now aging up now. Okay, and randomizing, what do we get? It lagged on me, it didn't work. Okay, randomize, I think we got cautious. Okay, so Christian is gonna be a cautious baby who appreciates the familiar but are very slow to warm up to new experiences, locations, and sims. Okay. And they've both learned to smile, which is very cute. Okay. I don't know why Aaron has aged up with green hair. Oh, is he? Oh, he just... Okay. Brian just, like, kissed her. <laughs> I mean... God, Brian, are you already over it? Are you just... Are you, like... No, I just... He's like, I just miss... I miss my wife. I just want to kiss her. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess if... He's feeling really flirty, so that, I mean, that's probably why. But I guess he was just, like, wanted to kiss her. I just, go ahead, I guess. Um, uh, Aaron being a wiggly baby is really cute. Uh, Aaron is the name of my godson, and he was also very wiggly as a baby. Oh, that's so cute. That's so adorable. I love that it worked out like that. Um, okay, so the babies. We're going to go ahead and just hop in the cast really quick. Uh, I try not to, like, um, well, we're actually, we're about to hit our two hours. Ooh, actually. Okay, never mind. I'm going to save that for off camera because we are about to hit our two hours. Uh, we just aged up the babies. I do also want to age up 
Haley. I know it's not quite her birthday yet. Uh, I know she technically in game still has five days, but technically, like I said earlier, um, she's been pregnant so many times that it's pushed her age back a lot. Um, and I really, really, really want to get her started on the next chapter of her life, like with starting her new career, starting getting into charity work and things like that. And I can't do that until she's a full adult. Um, so I think I do want to actually go ahead and age her up. So I'm going to let her really quickly. We're going to let her get some food. I'm going to have Brian bake a cake um, while she's eating. Uh, we're going to have him ba -ba -ba, make a cake for her. And we're going to do just probably a white cake. Yeah, there we go. It's so funny. Like, Brian, he kind of seems to be over it already. I don't think he is. Like, in the way that I see it, he's not, like, over everything. Um, but just trying to kind of get back into, like, the norm. Um, especially, I think, with family being here and kind of having to pretend like everything was just, yeah, perfectly fine. Oh, we're getting a call. What's up? A teacher caught Brooke looking at another student's test during class and sent her to the office. Oh no. Let her retake the test. She needs to retake it. If she was trying to cheat, she needs to to redo it. Um I think it was spur of the moment, the kid's the kid's birthday kind of thing. Oh, him like running up and kissing her. I do agree. I think that was very much a spur of the moment thing. Um because he's definitely not over it for sure. He's still going through his midlife crisis. Um, but just, you know, trying to like pretend while like the family was here. Trying to just like d all the stress of everything. I think he just kind of wants things to go back to normal. Like even though he's not. Oh my god. I know the babies are. Uh oh. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Please ignore the green hair. Elijah is texting Sammy. Elijah needs to leave my kids alone. That's something that like I pointed out in a couple episodes previous before we started on stream, like in the actual like let's play. Elijah needs to leave my kids alone. He keeps texting and calling Jared. He texts and calls Sammy. He tries to like inch his way in this family. You need to stop, leave my kids alone. Uh, anyway, um, what is wrong? Okay, the babies are hungry okay so uh ignore the green hair <laughs> on this child i'm gonna fix it um i'm gonna do it off camera though because i i do also need to give i need to give Haley a full makeover when she becomes an adult after we age her up i am gonna be giving Haley a full makeover i might give brian a tiny bit of an update too i'm not sure because brian like let's be real brian's already perfect uh he doesn't need an update but just to kind of show that some time has passed, just to show that things are different now, that they are moving into like a new chapter in their life. I do want to give um, them also a bit of an update as well. Haley needs a brand new look for sure. Brian just maybe just needs a little update, just a tiny bit. Um, here, okay, really quickly. I don't want y'all taking a piece of that cake. So just add some birthday candles and then you can come and take care of the baby. Go add some birthday candles and then you can take care of the baby. Brian, I'm begging you. Add the birthday candles. And then you can take care of the baby. <laughs> the Sims hate. Ugh, like, they just, they never do what you tell them to. Okay, now come in here and now you can feed him. Also, OM OMG, Elijah, just get the hint. I know, literally, Elijah, get the hint. Leave us alone. Stop trying to... Push yourself into this family. God, it's so frustrating. Okay. Pick up. That one's Christian. The green-haired one is Aaron. This one is Christian. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get them fed. Oh, she just got spit up on. Ew, gross. Uh, also, what are you guys doing? Jared has not made any friends. And now he's stressed. Okay, back to listening to the teacher, I guess. Aaron is a feeding tinkler, which means he has just used his diaper... So, where are you going? Where are you taking the baby? Where are you? Oh. She just came in here to praise the dog while she's holding the baby. Okay, why don't you change uh, Aaron's diaper while while you're already holding him? Why don't you do that? Okay, and then Christian, what's wrong? Oh, he has the gassy quirk. It hasn't popped up yet, but he's sad. Oh, he also has a good appetite. Okay, so he likes to eat. 
He also has the gassy quirk, it looks like. Yep, he's got some tummy troubles. Aw, poor boy. Okay, so he's... He likes to eat, but he he has tummy problems. Brian, okay, is just using the toilet while holding the baby. Um, I wonder what other like quirks we're gonna get for these ones. Aaron with the green hair really looks funny. I know, I know. Don't worry, I will. I'll fix him. <laughs> Don't worry, I will. I will fix him. Also, what's wrong? Oh, I think I think Peanut has to go outside. Here. Go, go let the dog out. Okay. Ooh, okay. He seems to be... Ooh, he's angry. He doesn't want to be held. Okay. Put the baby down. Put Aaron down. That's, that's fine. Go ahead and put him down. Uh, I am going to go and probably age up Haley. Oh my god. The babies are like screaming and crying. I think they're just needing to... Yeah, they're just they're just trying to go to sleep. Okay. Anyway. I know we were like super jumbled today. I think I probably will end it though after I age up Haley. Um we're gonna have her little birthday, have her blow out her candles. I'll have Brian come in here too. I know he's uh well, he really needs to pee actually, but it's okay. Come here for a second. Um we'll have Haley come in here and blow out her candles. We're just, we're not going to do like a whole big family, like big birthday with like all of the kids here and all of the family here. We're just going to like do just, you know, the kids are at school and she just is just going to age up here. Um, you know, Brian's here with her at least. So it took two, two tries. There we go. Okay. Haley is now officially aging up though. A little early, I know. Um, but Haley has now hit adulthood, fulfilling dreams, planning for retirement, and midlife crisis uh, await. The perfect time to start wrapping up those lifelong goals. So um, Haley is now a full adult. Taylor sent her a gift. Taylor is the only one who sent her a gift. Wow. Okay. That's a little... Uh, Taylor's, Taylor's the only one. Um, so yeah, so Haley is now a full adult. Um, I am going to be giving her a full makeover because that was something I really wanted to do. Um, once she, you know, became a full adult, we were able to give her a full new look with the new house and, you know, starting kind of a new life. It is like a new house and a new career path, a new us. Like, that is the plan. Um, uh, we are, of course, also going to be working on this last little bit of her aspiration. So for this last bit of her aspiration we do have to mentor our child three times so we do need to uh i believe we need to get her actually the mentor um like trait for her to be able to do that uh i don't even know if we have level 10 in anything we do we have level 10 in cooking and then in parenting um so we can actually mentor with cooking we can have maybe some of the kiddos start learning to cook uh, and we can have her mentor them in that skill um like kind of teaching them how to cook, just like her mom taught her and her sister to cook. Uh, we do need to have a child complete an aspiration. So we probably will start working a little bit more, I think, on Brooke's aspiration. I want to see how long we have, actually. Yeah, okay, so Brooke has 10 days. She's got a little bit before she ages up into a teenager. She's got 10 days. Um, Jared, he still has seven days before he becomes a young adult. And then Sammy... Yeah, he's got 13 days, so he's right in the middle. He's he's fine. Uh, so Jared's still got a little bit. I think next time we will be graduating him early. Uh, I'm not going to do it today, like on Thursday. I'm probably going to wait until Friday, the last day of like the weekend, or sorry, the uh, last day of the week before we hit the weekend. Um, I will probably then have him graduate early. Uh, that way Jared can actually get a head start on college, although he is very stressed right now. So we'll kind of see how that goes. Um, but yeah, so he's still got a little bit before he actually ages up. Um, and then the last thing we do need to do is have a child or grandchild reach the top of a career. Now that's going to take a while. I'm not going to be able to complete that during like this first gen. That's going to be something we're probably going to have to do as we like overlap, uh, into Brooke's gen when she gets older, because it takes a long time to reach the top of a career. Like it takes a long time. And I don't even know if this actually, like, I don't know if this will work unless the 
child is still in your household. That's something that also worries me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to complete just this last bit. That's something I'm going to try to do kind of over the course of as we move forward. But I don't know if I can actually complete this if the child in question is out of my household. So we're going to try to put our bets on Jared probably. Um, you know, so getting him a head start on uni is probably a good idea. So then we can try to do this. But yeah, I don't know how that part's going to go. That's going to be later down the line for sure. But I don't fully know how that's going to work. Um, it doesn't track if the kid leaves the household. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, I don't think it does because with the other aspiration, I know with Big Happy Family, I think one of the last things for that aspiration is to have a child get married. And that does not track if the, if the child is out of your household. That doesn't track if you, even if you attend the wedding and watch them get married, it won't do anything if the kid is not still in your household. So that's a little uh, difficult. So I, I'm going to try to work on that probably like later on. Of course, that's definitely going to be a like way later after, you know, Jared probably gets into a career, you know, we need to get him through university and into a career in order for that even to happen. So, you know, there's that. That's definitely going to be later though. Um, do the child aspirations work? The child aspirations should work for this. Um, yeah, it does. It literally says with a child sim selected, uh, select an aspirate an aspiration from the aspiration panel, child aspirations focus on building the skills, creativity, mental, motor, and social. So yes, no, that literally is have a child sim create or uh, complete an aspiration. Um, so yeah, definitely that one. We're going to start working with Brooke next time. Um, also, yes, now she will be a badass politician. She is. We're not going to go more the politician route. We're going to be going more the charity route with her. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to starting that with her. I'm excited to kind of give Haley more. I don't know what I'm going to do with her look yet. I don't have like a specific vibe that I'm going to do with her makeover yet. But we're going to definitely um, kind of revamp Haley's look, uh, new hair, new clothes uh, with Haley. So I'm really, really excited to do that. Um, and then we can finally get her started in her, you know, helping the eco footprint because for some reason the game already cleaned up the neighborhood without my help. I don't know how it did that or why it did that, but we're going to still try to work on, I think, fixing the air and fixing the eco footprint uh, and all that stuff with her. Um, also, I just started watching the series on YouTube. Yay! I'm so glad you'll be able to kind of see where, you know, well, you'll be able to like kind of fill in all the blanks to see where, like how we got to where we are right now. So Definitely, if you guys are catching up with the series on YouTube, I do hope that you enjoy it. Um, I worked really, really, really hard on a lot of those uh, episodes. Like, So I do hope that you guys enjoy it if you guys are currently in the middle of catching up and, and binging that series. Um, uh, maybe you could cheat that part of the aspiration. Yeah, we'll have to see. If it doesn't work out and it doesn't work out, then I will probably just cheat this. Um, but I'm going to try not to. I'm going to try to still complete it if I can. But... I mean, if there's too much overlap and we're like well into Brooke's gen and, and all that stuff, like Brooke, once we kind of move into Brooke's gen, there's going to be a tiny bit of overlap, but I'm really, really going to be focusing most on her and her story. So if I need to, I will cheat this last little bit, but I'll try not to. I'll try to keep it um, where I can actually complete it, you know? Uh, but yeah, so I think... That is probably going to be it for today, you guys. Uh, I'm so sorry. I was very jumbled like this whole time. This entire scenario that just popped up with the um, uh, the parents coming over and the neighborhood being fixed already, like without my help, like all of that, like really threw me off. Like that threw me for a loop. So I ended up not getting all of the stuff done that I wanted to today. Um, but I think it's fine. You know, I, I, we got a little bit of stuff done and hopefully for next time I'll be able to get the house a tiny bit more furnished, just a little bit. We're not going to like go full into it, like a fully furnished house, but I think slowly over time we're going to start, you know, piecing together um, the house a little bit more. We're going to start cleaning up the yard, a lot of this over uh, overgrowth. We're going to start cleaning that up, going to start making it pretty 
Um, hopefully when we hit springtime, because it is winter right now. So hopefully when we hit springtime, uh, we'll start planting some flowers. Brooke will maybe start learning to garden. Um, so I've definitely got a plan. Like I've got some stuff I want to do uh, as we move forward, but it's going to be a very kind of slow chipping away at it instead of getting it all done all at once. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. Um, I believe that's going to be it for all of that stuff. Um, for next Wednesday, just so you guys know, next Wednesday we will be doing whimsy stories. So we're going to alternate this series and whimsy stories kind of weekly. Uh, so, you know, one Wednesday we'll have Crybaby and then the next Wednesday we'll have whimsy and we'll just kind of go back and forth. So this series will be picking up again in two weeks, not next week. Um, next week will be whimsy this Friday coming up, uh, this Friday, we are going back to hundred baby. I know last week we didn't do it just because we were starting to, um, implement this series into the schedule, but we are going to go back to the normal schedule with 100 baby on Friday. And then that of course will be going up on Sunday. So yeah, don't worry. Friday, we will be getting back into hundred baby again. Um, it just last week was a little weird with that. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys then. Uh, I believe that's all that I have to say, I think. So I will see you guys on Friday for more hundred baby. Um, and if I don't see you then, then I will see you guys next week on either Monday or Wednesday. I believe that's it. So thank you guys all so, so, so much for coming. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate all of you. And yeah, everybody have an amazing day. Have an amazing evening, whatever time it is for you. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.